Hi everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Recently, Skylum Software updated Luminar Neo to version 1.8.0. In today's video, we're going to take a look at everything that's new and exciting in this, the latest version of Luminar Neo. Let me say at the top that there isn't anything earth shattering in this update, just a few tweaks. The first tweak has to do with the histogram. You probably already know that if you're in the edit panel over on the right hand side at the top is a histogram. By the way, if you don't see the histogram there, go to the top view menu and at the very bottom make sure show histogram has a check mark next to it. When it's checked, you'll see a histogram over here at the top. The tweak is they've added the histogram to the edits panel as well. So when you're in your edits panel at the top, there's a histogram. Now the next set of tweaks they're calling previews on hover specifically the first one has to do with the develop raw tool if we open up the develop raw tool you probably know at the top are camera profiles now you simply can hover over a camera profile to see what it would look like when applied to your image so that is new you weren't able to do that in the past also previews on hover is included in the mood tool we open up the mood tool and choose a LUT, let's say a creative LUT. You could just hover over the LUT and see what that LUT will look like when applied to your image. Now the third and final preview on hover has to do with layers. Let's just add a layer to this. Let's add, I don't know, a flare. So I added this flare to this image. It has to do with the blend modes. Open up the blend modes in the layer properties tool and just hover over the different blend modes and you'll see what the layer looks when blended with these different blend modes to the bottom layer in this case. So you can see, so that's new. Previews on hover. I'm gonna get rid of that because I don't like that lens. So that's another new tweak, previews on hover. Now this actual, this next new thing I thought was in Luminar Neo, but I'm probably getting confused with Luminar AI. It has to do with presets. Let's go over to presets and let's just uh, pick a preset. Now hover on presets was always there. Let's go to hyperdrive and let's say I'm applying this preset. I'll click on it. Now there's an amount slider. I really thought that was always there, but apparently it's, that's new as well. So that's new. I'm going to undo that. And the final tweak has to do with seeing a before after and I thought this was in Luminar Neo as well but again I'm probably getting confused with Luminar AI. Uh, now at the very bottom they have this tool right here if we click on it we have the slider so we have before after with a slider. So that's new another new tweak added to this version of Luminar Neo again that's version 1.8.0 and that's really everything uh, that's new in this version outside of they did add some new camera support i'll have it listed in the description below but i will mention it it's only three cameras canon eos r8 canon eos r50 and a panasonic dc-s5-2 are now supported by luminar neo and of course they fix bugs and they claim they've made it faster and more stable so that's always a good thing so that's everything that's new and somewhat exciting in Luminar Neo. Thank you. Everyone watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. Talk to you guys soon.